everyone, and welcome. My name is Nikki Adamkowitz. I am the Sassy Subber, and I am joined today by three of the most incredible humans on the planet who are going to be teaching with me at a applique getaway. And we're going to have just a very probably unfiltered, raw discussion about the applique getaway, talk about the classes that we're teaching, talk about the vibe, all the things. But let me formally introduce all of them because why not? Make sure you um, subscribe. Make sure when you're in the comment section that you don't let me know that you're a, a, a fabulous user because, you, you know, I love you guys being a fabulous user, but you have to let StreamYard have permission so we know who you are. Um, otherwise, you're just going to be fabulous for the rest of the day and I won't know who you are. So hello, hello, hello. Let me uh, bring in the most beautiful Miss Lisa Shaw, beautiful Miss Sheila, and the ever so lovely and loving Jeff Fuller. So there you go. So these guys are teaching with me. This is my second year teaching here at the Applique Getaway. Um, and I took so much from it. Uh, Lisa, you're the OG. So how long have you been teaching at the Applique Getaway? <laughs> oh, quite a few years. I wasn't there at the beginning, but I was there for starting in Fort Worth. So it's been quite a few years. I love, I keep coming back. It's just a fabulous event. So, so out of the last 10 years, do you do you even remember how many years you've been teaching? No. <laughs> well, she's not telling us. That's the thing. There's the kicker. She goes, I don't want to tell you. Seven years, years, maybe. <laughs> you know what, though? But you've seen the AG yeah. transform over the last, you know, 10 years, but seven years, whatever it may be, right? You've seen mm -hmm. it evolve. Sheila, how long have you been going? Um, I've been going to AG for five, six years. I and think. how long have you been teaching at it? Um, I've, taught the last, uh, I've taught it three of the last six that I've been there. So, yeah. This is Jeff? Yes. Isn't it? You and I started teaching the same time. This is your second year, correct? Yep, this will be my second year. They let the they let the newbies in the house. I'm not sure if that was a good thing. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. So, so as always, I'm the grandmother here. <laughs> I called you the OG, if you noticed. Right, Thank like you. that's the subtlest way to call somebody the grandma. I did, oh, I'm like crazy. I did not. First of all, let's say hello to everybody in the comment section. I may not know who you are, um, because if you're watching me over on the Sassy Subber, welcome to all of my people. I'm going to let everybody in four or three of them, there's four of us, the three of them introduce their people as well. So hello, hello, hello. And a shout out to Miss, you know who she is. She's going to be the, the hostess with the most is here. We got Miss Christine. So hello, hello to her. Uh, I'm not sure you're ready for the four of us. I just want you to know that. So uh, if you'd like to do a shout out to your group, please, by all means, um, the shenanigans are already, oh, you have no idea, ma'am. You have no idea. Add alcohol and we're all done for. That's all I have to say. So thank you guys for watching. Um, Lisa, where are they catching you on right now? I see that you're on a couple different places. Where are they watching you right now on? Um, they should be watching me on my Sew Bubbles page, which is where they usually catch my after hours on Tuesdays. And also Instagram. I don't know if it's actually yep. working on that, but it should it be It looks there. like you're on Facebook and YouTube right now. So that's okay. where it looks like. Miss Sheila. Oh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where are you on right now, Miss Sheila? Uh, hopefully I'm on on the Designs by Baby Moon Friends and Fans group. And hello, everybody, if y'all are there. And um, and then also on the Designs by Baby Moon Facebook page. So those are two separate things. Yeah. So hello, hello. Happy to be here. Happy to awesome. chat with you. And Jeff Fuller, where are you broadcasting to? Well, first, I'm going to say I know all three of you are live on respective pages because I got the notifications in. I know. Um, it's coming up. <laughs> but I can honestly tell you that I am I'm live on the Embroidery Nerd page and in the Embroidery Nerd group as well. I shared it over there. So thank you for everyone that is watching from there. And if you are watching and you've been to the AG, I want you to put hashtag AG veteran in there. If you've been to the AG and once you've been there once, you're now considered a veteran. But if you have never been to the AG and you are new to this and you want to see one of us, at least, I'm hoping to see all four of us at the AG, put a hashtag AG newbie. Because um, I would love to know who's coming that's new. I would love to know who's who's a veteran. And if you are watching on, let's say, Lisa's page or Sheila's or Jeff's, make sure you hashtag their um, different groups. So if you notice in the comment section, it says hashtag sassy subber. Woo 
whoop. That's right. You know, my group is in the house. I would love to see all the other groups represented in the comment section as well. So first things first, let's get the, let's get the, um, technical stuff out of the way, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, what are we teaching? I'm going to go last because I'm the hostess with the mostest. I don't need to go. Um, so we're going to start with Jeff. What is your class? Or class See, day? I'm pretty sure that the thought, the whole thought was ladies first that we were going with this thing here. That's why we went with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I am teaching um, with the person that's above me in this ho Hollywood Squares. We'll go with that. Yes. The Brady Bunch too, but um I'm teaching with Nikki a sublimation embroidery class where we're going to be doing freestanding lace and uh, the digitizing embroidery and sublimation part of it. I'm teaching a class on hats. Um, I did one last year and this year it's going to be a little bit longer. We're going to go a little bit more in depth into all things that are caps and tubular frame embroidery machines. And then the third class I'm going to be doing is called Evil Embroidery Laboratory with mm -hmm. Adam. And he is really excited for that. He's been working on stuff for his class. I've got a mess back there. About 40% of it's probably his. Um, we're just going to say 40% of it's his. Uh, so we'll be teaching that class as well, where it's going to be going over all things embroidery, stabilizers, needles, um, things you need to know when you're getting started. I think that's a great class, especially because I'm getting back into embroidery. I had stepped away from it for like seven years and getting back into it, new things, new techniques. I went from basically a, what do you call a flatbed machine to a commercial machine. There's a learning curve with that. Um, digitizing software is a whole new learning curve as well. Um, so I think that's a great class for the newbies. Um, it, it definitely, even if you've, even if you've, been in the industry for a hot minute going to a back to basics beginners class never hurts it's like continuing education we kind of get lackadaisy on what we know and then we forget i mean i go through that with the sublimation side of things you get very lackadaisy and saying oh well this is how you do it well no actually if you go back you could have done it a little bit more proficiently if you did it this way <laughs> and you know so, I mean, I think that those, I think that that's a benefit for all classes or for all embroidery. All and I'll just, I'll just throw this out there. If you run a business, some education is tax deductible. Uh, absolutely. It absolutely <laughs> is. Sheila's like, note to self, note to self. We saw that note to self. All right, Miss Sheila, what class are you teaching? Well, I'm teaching, um, like I had a list of like 400 classes that I wanted to teach, but I only sent three options in. Um, and um, I'm really excited. A new class that I'm teaching is digitizing in the Hoop Project. So if you have learned how to digitize and you want to learn to think in 3D to make in the Hoop Projects, which all embroiders then in the Hoop, right? Like we use Hoops on our machines. But an in the Hoop Project is kind of special because it is a finished thing. Like when you're done with the embroidery, aside from all the regular um, trimming and all that, but you actually have a thing. You're not just embroidering on a purse or on a shirt or on something. You're making, you're manufacturing a little doodad. So we're going to talk about how to, like what the specifics are for making those in the hoop designs so that you can digitize your own. And this is like really, I, I mean, I, I tell this all the time to people, but this is really important to me because when I started doing embroidery, actually before I had an embroidery machine, I already knew that I wanted to digitize because the stuff that I wanted to make was not available. And so I've heard that from so many people. They're like, I just can't think like that. I can't think like that. And I mean, it, there is a learning curve, but some of these things just take a little bit of, um, you know, thinking through to figure it out. Once you've thought through a couple of the, uh, we're going to do four, it's like a long class. So it's going to be like two and a half hours, right? One of those VIP pros. I'm really excited. Woo -woo! Join the club. We're going to have time to really investigate and get inside some of these projects. So after you've done these four that we're going to do together, you'll have um, enough muscle memory in your brain so that you can keep going and you can digitize other in the hoop projects. So it's going to be super fun. It's not software based. We're just thinking through how these things are constructed from the inside out. And um, that's going to be so fun. I'm really excited about that one. But I'm also teaching a class on a freestanding lace 
earrings, which I love. I mean, that's like an no obsession. kidding. You're all over my <laughs> news feed. Like literally, I'll say to Jeff. So did you see Sheila's new creation? No, which one? I'd send him a screenshot. And I'm like, it's it's every hour. Forget every day. Every oh, hour, no. a new set of earrings, and it's okay. What is she coming out with now? So I just, uh, you know, I see something and I see an idea, or like I'm growing flowers in my yard. I can't wait to get those out. Like I'm like starting with like, what's in my yard? What can I turn into an earring? So I have calla lilies growing. I'm so excited about Ooh, those. Those calla like lilies as earrings. I mean, why not? So Do anyway, yeah. like a hummingbird. A cow. <laughs> now we got to do that. My friend, my friend, my sweet friend. Okay, so. Anyway. Yeah, and oh, and Minky, we're teaching, I have teaching a class on how to do embroidery on Minky. So Minky fabric, because Minky's kind of weird. What day is that class? Huh? What day is that class? Oh, I'm teaching it twice, maybe, maybe three times. I'm doing one Sunday. So the last class on Sunday, if you don't have anything else to do and you're all packed up, come hang out with me and we'll talk about it. Because I'm going to be talking about sublimating on Minky oh, in good. this class. Good, good. You're going to play some Minky? I, I'm going to actually sublimate on Minky in Lisa's class because I have a heat press that just kind of rolls with me. Yeah. And this way, we're going to, we're just going to talk about it. I mean, because I feel like we need to like hands on, <laughs> just see me do it and then throw it into the crowd. I think Ooh. that's what I'm, I think that's what I'm doing I'm, amongst other things, but get a beverage in my hand and all bets are off at that point. So <laughs> who knows? All right. Man, dangerous. Uh, you, okay. I've decided that. Um, the shopping list of classes comes from Lisa Shaw. So go ahead, Lisa. Give us the lowdown. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I am so excited that there's so much inner workings between so many people. Yeah. I mean, this year, I think the theme of Applique Getaway, because it evolves every year. I mean, mm -hmm. I've said I've seen it. I think it's been eight years now. I think I've nailed it down. <laughs> I've been I've been teaching at it. And every year something changes. So it's not a show that, oh, I've been there before. You get something new. Mm -hmm. And the collaboration between yes. teachers and products is just getting better and better. And I yes, I teach the Embrilliant software just mm -hmm. to get that out there. <laughs> yep. I teach customizing and digitizing. I, I've been doing the hands-on classes, um, the pre-show classes, probably four years now, um, before Applique Getaway starts. They always had me doing my two little hands-on classes. And it was nice, you know, great, but I kind of felt lonely. There was not, I was the only one there the day before the show. And everyone wanted longer formatted classes. That's you can't mm -hmm. only do so much in a set amount of time. Right. So I think it's fabulous that they added the more people. So I'm not all by myself. No, <laughs> you can all go grab lunch together. I agree. And the fact that we all network together as teachers, that happens with the people. I mean, and that happens with being at AG. You start yes. to get to know people and you start seeing them it's like going into a high school you kind of see them in the hallway you mm -hmm. kind of know who they are you know and you're like oh yeah i've seen them and you're like you know maybe i should go and see what they're about and then you realize you know what you got a lot in common and you collaborate but it's a lot them. friendlier than high school my high school years weren't that uh, you know i know probably a bad analogy but you know what i'm just saying but that's what it's kind of like yeah. you know and and what i'll get more into it but go ahead Oh, <laughs> so I have the hands-on classes on Thursday, but during the show, I have both customizing beginner classes because mm -hmm. I don't think everyone needs to jump into digitizing. There's fun things that we can do with customizing software and, and using your embroidered machine and putting the thread in and stabilizer stuff. So I teach you how to do that with software. And then I also have more advanced digitizing classes because in the past, People have asked, hey, can you tell me how to digitize lettering? So that's the new class for this year is we're going to explore it from my point of view, um, mm -hmm. uh, that type of thing. And then we wrap it up on Saturday night with, um, whoops, got, I must be <laughs> pointing the wrong direction. The queen Nick of shenanigans, doing after hours. I, don't, I don't know how I got the, the, dub the title, the queen of shenanigans, Those but clearly I, I left an impression last year. <laughs> So there's that. Um, See, yeah. you were shenaniganing, and I was being innocent the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so 
if you believe that, I have Swampland in Florida. I can sell you two at a very cheap, cheap price. Don't you worry about that. $5 all day long. Anywho, so the classes that I'm teaching as Jeff, I get to do the collaboration classes. And I think that that's, that's just fun. So I technically have four classes that I'm, I'm teaching or co-teaching with. So two of the co-teaching classes, like Jeff said, him and I collaborating on the sublimation and embroidery. For those who are in part of Sassy Nation, um, we are an eclectic group. We have just everything. It's like a melting pot of a group. And I said, well, we need a class where we can just kind of put all of our stuff together because you know what? A lot of us do multi things. We are not just, we're a multifaceted group. Um, and we, we're not just embroidery. And I really feel like once you enter into like embroidery or sublimation or something, it's like a gateway drug. Once you enter, all of a sudden the possibilities of other things are there. And then you start networking. You're like, but I want that toy too. Like I, I've convinced more people that they need to have an embroidery machine in the last two months than I have, you know, anything else. Um, I'm teaching an equity class, completely non-related to, um, you know, embroidery or sublimation, but how to build an equid site. And that one, so the VIP pro class that I'm teaching with Jeff is two and a half hours because that takes that long to be able to mesh those two things together. Um, my class is an hour and a half and literally we're going to build an equid site in that time and you could be up and running within that hour. And it is very, very easy. It's easier than Shopify. You don't have to buy all the apps for it. And you could be up and running and making money and have it be very, very user friendly. Love that. Um, so that's the class I'm teaching on Friday. Um, as I said to you guys, I got the short end of the stick. I don't know how I drew the short straw to get the 830 class because clearly I'm not loved. Um, <laughs> and that's the Saturday morning class. I get to teach all things sublimation in the advanced level, like the board method piecing together design, how to deal with not having a big enough press or not having a big enough printer because those are problems within sublimation. And that will be my Saturday class during the day. And then we get to party at night with Miss Lisa. So lots of fun things for me. Like I said, I get Sunday off. I don't know how I got Sunday off, whoop, whoop, but I got Sunday <laughs> off. Um, but I'll be on the floor. I will, I'm always on the floor. I'll be doing live demos right at my table. Um, Jeff and I both have an inverter machine and a heat press that we'll be doing live demos right there. So that's going to be really cool for us to be able to do that. Um, with the inverter machine right there, if Lisa or if Sheila need to, we'll have a, an inverter machine right there. You guys could put some freestanding lace on there, whatever you want to do. We can do it as long as you have a file. Um, so that's going to be you know, fun. Now let's get into these bigger classes. These bigger classes are two and a half hours long because we agree that the hour classes, and I don't know if you guys felt like this, but last year I did, I felt like I could have gone 20 more minutes. There's just not enough time because you try to build in time to where you have your questions because you've got to build that in and you don't want to be staying a hundred years after class either. So um, I'm very thankful I get to be in that two and a half hour class. Mm. Do you feel that that is a good time or do you think that you could go longer? Like, do you think that you could ever do a longer class or do you think that that's a nice cutoff point? Because now we have a, an hour and a half class and we have the hour classes. So those are, for those who don't know, those are the different ones. I feel like you get a lot more out of the two and a half hour class. Um, not saying you don't out of the hours, you really do. We just got to compact it very quickly. <laughs> so how do you guys feel about these two and a half? Hour? I know what Lisa's saying, but how do you two feel about your two and a half hour class? I mean, are you excited for them? Are you nervous about it? Oh, I'm excited about it because um, like, I mean, you know, like th I, this is what happens at Apple K Getaway. And for those of y'all who haven't come yet, um, just expect to make friends and expect to like feel seen and heard because everybody's speaking the same embroidery ish language. Yeah. And that is like, it is so relaxing because we already all have this common, you know, place that we're all coming from, but like to get to talk ab about really, I mean, I, I say that when I've done the shorter classes, I always leave it open. So you can come by my table and, and say, let's talk about it some more afterwards. And, and if you have questions that I didn't answer, yeah, I'm, I'm always available for that. 
But I think the in-depth, longer format classes are really going to, I'm thinking of it more like a workshop. And so um, you'll have some of that hands-on, you'll have some of that individual attention. And, and I mean, you'll just have, you'll get more out of it, which is, um, I'm really excited about that. But I think there's a lot of value in those longer classes. Oh, yeah. I think you can really dive deep into yeah. it and get your point across without feeling you have to skip steps. Do you know what I mean? I feel like we have to jam pack them in so much that you skip steps. So when I, I don't know about for you guys, when I was planning what to do for my, my classes, I said to Jeff, I go, do we want it as a VIP pro class? He goes, well, we could definitely take up two and a half hours. You and I can, we, we can make this work. And I'm like, okay. When it came down to my second two classes, I had to look about the value that was going to be given out in that class. All right. Advanced sublimation, could I have ran it an hour and a half? Sure, I could talk sublimation all day. And I used to do my SAS on Sunday mornings that take two and a half hours. So I know I could definitely fill the time. But I didn't feel like the value, the more the value came to me and was important to me was that website that everybody keeps saying they want to have. And I felt like I needed to put the value and the time and the effort in and giving that 100, you know, that 110% or that hour and a half long class to an equid that had nothing to do with anything but to help you build your business, right? Because that's what we, oh, I wish I had a website. How many of you remembers you? I wish I had a website. I don't know how to build one. Oh, this class will be definitely for you for that. Um, now, Christine says we're shenanigans. I don't know what she speaks of. I think that we are well behaved. Complete um, innocence. <laughs> so... What shenanigans are we getting ourselves into? Should we, should we should we start now? I mean, Christine did say something about being the tenth year anniversary, and that there will be confetti. I did see that. I actually have a screenshot of it, so she can't go back and delete that part of the comment. And glitter. Um, and glitter. And glitter. I mean, the theme for Friday night shopping is sparkles, glitter. Oh, that means I need to come sparkling. I need to go shopping. What are, are y'all wearing? I don't know. Sparkles I, and glitter. Sparkles? Okay. Sparkles and glitter. <laughs> what kind of sparkle are you wearing? You can wear a sparkly bow tie. Oh, there you go. There you I go. didn't even know what the theme shopping night was yet. <laughs> I always ask. <laughs> Sorry, That's like my most fun, <laughs> fun thing. I'm not, I'm not so. A confetti cannon with glitter. She will love us for life because that's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> you know what's funny? Anybody... I have two of those. See, we're on it. We're already there. You know, okay, okay. I'm going to say as a mom, I mean, <laughs> like I'm a mom. Oh, I, here we I, go. I don't like body glitter where it sticks on your body. That's mm -hmm. what I'm advocating for is body glitter. Put it on. Layer it thick. You know what? You only live once. I'm that mom is you only live once once you want to paint on the floor and we do reverse painting let's do it you know what because they make a mop in a bucket i'm okay with that if you need to have me go around with a shop vac i will happily if it means i get to sparkle that place you're not i'm here for it you're not I, sunday so you're the vacuumer you're the glitter i guarantee she's the glitter person because my driveway is still a shiny little layer of teal since she glitter bombed adam <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Beware of any packages that do come from the Sassy Summer. You have no idea if they're going to be glitter or confetti or whatever's in them. Because I like to leave a little sparkle everywhere I go. You're <laughs> um, well, thank goodness you were too busy at Christmas. <laughs> because I love you, Lisa. <laughs> My brother was at a cow. <laughs> I, I do love you. Um, I do believe shenanigans will happen. But I think it's, let's talk about the vibe of AG. With it being 10 years, I feel like for me... And you guys can jump in at any time, obviously. Um, I feel like it's going back to camp. Like, we're going back to summer mm. camp. Like, mm. you missed your friends all year long. You see them. You talk to them. Whatever. But when you actually get to the AG, it's like going back to summer camp where you get to meet up and talk about the things late night. I mean, how many times did were we up really late sitting out in the restaurant just having a beverage talking about everything under the sun from family to work to anything in between and just laughing. I think the laughter yeah. is medicine we all need. And you know? bringing in someone new that you just met and making them feel yes. welcome and bringing them into laughter. It's like there was no clicks at this. 
No, event. no. I remember people coming up. And you were one of them. Can I stay with you guys? <laughs> sure, come on in. More the merrier. And we would have just a huge group of people yeah. just sitting there talking. And that's what's nice about it. Mm -hmm. I, so my table last year was directly across from Sheila and I would make faces at her just for the making faces at her. Like, I don't know where they're setting. They probably need to keep us all away from each other. <laughs> it, it, shenanigans will ensue. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I, I, I agree. Absolutely. Um, four corners of the world uh, right. kind of thing. Except you and I are sharing a space. We'll, see, we'll put Christine in the middle. We'll all call her and see who she comes to. <laughs> Who's the favorite child? Um, <laughs> so there is that. But what is your greatest takeaway other than the classes that you think AG offers? What is something that you just go, that's what pulls at your heartstrings? I want to know the heartstring moment. And I know, Jeff, you're a guy and you're, you might not want to answer that, but I want to <laughs> know anyway. Uh, you're putting me on the spot? Yeah, you go first this time. What's the one thing that you took away from AG that made you want to come back? I mean, honestly, when you get down to it, and, and it's this way with every trade show, you go for the people. Like, maybe you want to buy a new piece of equipment, or maybe you want to buy a blank, or you want to see something. But ultimately, you go there to network. You go there because of the people that are going there. And I want to go there, and I want to hang out with these three people. I didn't know which way to point, so I just fanned it. Um, <laughs> but I want to go hang out with these three people and and hang out with all the people at AG and and you know meet new people. It, it's all networking, and as somebody that works from home, you don't get a lot of networking. I, I mean, yeah, I can tell you who my kids' friends' parents are, <laughs> but when I go sit and talk with them, we don't talk about anything that I do because I'm in the minority of men. Who You're the odd man out in this yep. conversation, right? So I, I'd like to go. I like to go for the conversation. I like to go for the people. I mean, classes are great. You, you can pick up something. You can learn something. Um, buying stuff at a trade show is great. You get to see all the new equipment that's coming out. You get to see the new blanks that are coming out, all that. But ultimately, it's it's networking. It's the people that, that drives mm -hmm. me. It's finding your truck. tribe. It's finding the people who understand the daily in and out. Yep. You know, from the crazy clients that we all have to the not wanting to work and saying, nope, I'm just going to put it in the, you know, what bucket I'm not doing it today. Um, working and balancing family mm -hmm. because a lot of us do work from home, you know, um, it is, it's finding the people and not feeling so lonely in a world that can be extremely lonely, mm -hmm. you know? So there's that. What about you, Lisa and, and uh, Shayla? What would you say is your favorite part? Oh, me first. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, the internet just crashed. I'm like, did they freeze? <laughs> <laughs> you put them on the spot and they both just... Sorry! It's the, it's the silence now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I love the silence. Yeah, there is nothing silent about AG. <laughs> no, there isn't. No. Um, I probably like the inspiration that goes on the best simply because I'm stuck in Elbert. Colorado. I don't get to see a lot of what people are doing with embroidery and to try it and just listening and talking to people to see what they're wearing, seeing what they're working on, what the trends are. I just, that's what I get a lot from it. So you have no idea, Amber, how much <laughs> of us are an absolute riot. When you see us on camera, it, the, we are the exact people you see here. Yeah. Like the, yeah. we're not fake. I don't know. I feel like this is the toned down version of us right now. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, lie to oh, the people. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> lie to the people. Get with the program, sir. Um, no, We're innocent. We are, we are as real as it comes. Yeah. We're just, we are genuine people. All of us are just very genuine. We want to help you. We want to make sure that you're doing what you need to do. And we're not afraid to give you a kick in the pants. All four of us are not afraid to look at you and go, well, and how did that work out? <laughs> <laughs> or you can do it. <laughs> right. And either way, but see, there's a the thing. We are all about saying, and how did that work out? And now let's fix the problem. Uh, let's get to where you're back on the right path and let's get you moving again. Right? Mm -hmm. No, you're not allowed to quit. You can take a respite if you want. And I've heard every one of you guys at some point say, go ahead. You could, you could take a break, but then you're going to get back to it because mm -hmm. we're, we're not about quitting around here. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Miss Sheila. 
My favorite thing at the show is hanging out. Well, I said it before, but hanging out with people that speak the same language. Actually, can I tell you all a secret? So this is something that happens for me. Every I would seal up. Let me tell you my secrets. So if you just go and you stand within like five feet of Lisa, don't be creepy, don't be weird, but like her magic just rubs off on you. And I learned something just from breathing the air that she's breathing. Okay, that sounds so weird, but I'm serious. It did, but you know what? I'm here for it because I feel the same way you do, Bo. I mean, okay, keep there's, going. there's like something. So I, as a teacher, it's always, it's important for me to keep learning and learning how to do new things and how to do the things that I know how to do better. There's always a better way. There's always a faster, easier, mm -hmm. simpler way. And you know, we all learn from each other. And I think that's what I appreciate about you guys is that we're not gatekeeping embroidery. There's no, um, I mean, there, there's plenty of room in the world for everybody to make beautiful things. And I love that we have that spirit of cooperation at Applicate Getaway and among the teachers and the instructors and everybody who's there really. Like I learned things from people that taught that I taught classes to last year. Like one lady was telling me how she used something that, um, um, uh, the wizardry and stitches brought and she uses that all the time to sublimate and then embroider on and I'm like I've never heard about this and she walked me through the whole process and I'm like you should teach that as a class it was I mean it was just fabulous it, there's just so much to learn and we learn more and I don't think you realize how much you can learn just by absorbing the mm -hmm. energy that each other brings to it so I love just that listening I mean if you're ever on the, the showroom floor just listen Mm -hmm. so that's the key right there. Stop and listen because we're all at our tables, right? When we're not teaching, we're at our tables and you have no idea the question that someone standing in front of them is asking that you thought, oh, I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. Take the time to really listen while you're on that trade room floor, right? And, and hear what people are saying. There's a lot of value right in that. Like she was just saying about Lisa. I remember just, I've been to two trade shows where she's been at and I've, at a distance, I'm, I'm, I've zeroed in. I hear her voice. I've zeroed in. Wow. And it's one of those things I went, oh, okay. Note to self to ask that later because I have that question or I didn't think about that. That's a good question, you know, and it just makes you think, or I'm listening. I could honestly, and you guys are going to laugh at this. I could listen to the nerds explain stuff to me. And I just sit there and, and they laugh at me because if you ever watch me, you know that I'm really intent and in listening is I will sit like this. Mm -hmm. I sit on my hands once. So I stop talking, but <laughs> because I talk with my hands, Italian, and I talk with my hands. Anyway, so I sit like this and I am literally absorbing everything they say because it's so sponge worthy. Right. And I just, I feel like all of you are sponge worthy. Sheila was describing her free, her freestanding lace earrings last year. And I went, Oh, that that's fun. I, I, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Those are, hmm. Right. And then I go back and I think, but at the time I did not have a machine. I didn't get my commercial machine until Christmas. Oh, um, now don't blame that on me. <laughs> no, I totally blame that on Jeff. That's a hundred percent Jeff. We found it on Marketplace for an absolute seal, steal. It was only used twice. And I got it for half the cost of the machine with everything with it. I'm like, he's like, if you don't buy it, I'm going to. <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Um, let's get into some of the things. So Christine asked if she was the dog in the scenario, if she was put in the between. No, you're the lost child in the middle of who's trying to figure out which one of the teachers are your favorite <laughs> we all know who your favorite is we'll just call it a day call it a spade as a spade right now um we know who the favorite is and it's not me okay it's probably actually not one of the four of us it's probably this cute adorable 12 year old i believe that he's probably the favorite mm -hmm. um oh this is a good one for miss lisa oh. yep. learn from watching you now, I yes. don't have the Embrilliance program, but I'm part of your group and I sit and watch you because ah. you never know what you're going to pick up. Nope. You never know what you're going to pick up. You know, uh, see, she admitted it. Put it on screen. And it is there. <laughs> that's why <laughs> I bring him. <laughs> Listen, that's why you bring the kid. I got it. Um, Actually, I'm pretty sure he brings me. Um, if it wasn't for him, is, I wouldn't be invited. You might want to discipline your mod. It just causes a lot of things. He knows. <laughs> 
he's telling out your trade secrets that mike is um well there is that um, i need to get in brilliance ah okay truth <laughs> and all, i have hatch three um, so that's what i have you can have in brilliance too it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I work one program at a time. Do you realize what's up in this head? I have Photoshop, Corel. I've got. See, you did Green. that with design programs. You started with Photoshop, <laughs> you added Corel, you added the <laughs> roll and cut studio. So now you're starting with Hatch, you add in Brilliance, you add another one. It's just, it's a progression. Can you just watch my head explode? <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Okay, for yeah, those babe. who don't know, I not only do embroidery, I do sublimation, I have an eco solvent printer. Roland. Um, I do a lot of things. I'm looking to buy my first laser. So yeah, I have a multifaceted shop of lots of programs in this poor little brain and I do it all all by myself. So when you tell me, and that's one of the things I'll tell you when you're on the floor, I can't do everything that you do. Oh yes, you can. Yes, you can. And I'm going to walk you through how yes, you can. And, but Nikki, there's not enough hours in the day. Oh, you're right. But I only work from 10 to five. I'm pretty sure you don't sleep. <laughs> I'm just like pixie sticks and Red Bull and, and you're off the races. <laughs> that is not true. That is not true. Actually, you know, I, I'm just, I, like I said, I'm looking forward to just seeing all of you guys. It's like, again, it's like coming back home. It's like coming to camp and being able to see the people who understand you the most. Don't get me wrong. My husband tries to understand my business about that much of it. <laughs> Um, he just understands he needs to ship the things that I need to ship out. And that's about it. But he doesn't understand when I can't, when I tell a client, I can't do something, you know, it, it's impossible to do it for X, Y, and Z reasons. Right. So I don't know why I'm echoing, but I am. That's weird. Um, somebody's listening to me and it's got me on and I can hear it. <laughs> um, not you, Jeff. <laughs> So I, I don't, nope, it was Jeff. Um, so I don't know uh, where my train of thought was going with that, but <laughs> you totally distracted me. You see that this is what he does. I just, I, I can't wait. And you've got there. two and a half hours of this. <laughs> Sometimes you ever regret a decision that you think, oh, this is a great one. And then you get me deep in and you're like, why did I just do that? That might be the one thing that I regret about. No, I'm kidding. Um, I love being able. No to regrets, teach. Nikki. No regrets. No, no. I love being able to teach my friends. I absolutely do. Absolutely do. So, is there anything like fun that you guys? I don't. I mean, we're all doing things fun, but is there something that you're gonna be like? I want. I can't wait to show you, kind of a fun thing, um, a technique, or a little nugget for them to take your class because there's the reason why we're here. There's four of us that are teaching. We're all teaching a VIP pro, pro class. We're all teaching a pro class or VIP class. I don't even know what the heck. I just know we're all teaching. Um, I, I don't know what you could say. This is the reason why you need to take my class. Plea your class. Plea your class. I, I know. Want, go for it. Okay. I'll tell you why you need to take my uh, freestanding lace class, which you also need to take Jeff's freestanding lace class or Adam's freestanding lace. Whoever's teaching it, Jeff, sorry, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's not here with us. So, um, but you need to, you need to take those classes because um, people think that freestanding. So for me, freestanding lace was like the pinnacle of embroidery. So like quilting uh, in my head was always the pinnacle of sewing, right? And um, in embroidery, freestanding lace is like the pinnacle. I mean, I know you can do that. Did you know that was the first thing I learned on my commercial machine was how to do freestanding lace? Jeff's like, you're just jumping in. You're just, we're just making you jump in <laughs> head, head first. I don't care. I did that in puff hats. I was like, that was the first thing I learned. Everybody's like, they're so hard. You, you do that. You can do that. Right? Right? They're right. not hard at all. And that's the thing. People think they're so hard. Well, yep. you know, that's the thing though. So like when you, when you sit in the room with somebody and you feel the samples and you look at the samples in your hand that they brought to show you, and then they tell you how to do their way, you know, like, like I know that I do freestanding lace different than some other designers that make freestanding lace and that's okay. Like, like we get a thing out that works. Right. But, but you're, 
um, experience is magnified and you're, you become a better embroiderer when you know what the options are. So if you've mm-hmm. only learned it one way and then you learn somebody else's way, then the possibilities are exponentially increased for you right. as somebody who can make things. And so there's, I really believe there is not one right way, one right product, one right thread brand, one right machine for everybody. There's not, there's, there's, you're going to pick it up. You're going to pick up whatever. So when you teach, I'm going to pick up a little nugget from you. And Mm -hmm. then I'm going to pick up a little nugget from Lisa. I'm going to pick up a little nugget from Jeff. I'm going to formulate this plan, put it together. And then that's now Nikki's way of doing it. Exactly. Yep. Right. So you, we kind of put it all together and what works for Nikki, right? Because Mm -hmm. I I'm learning from the three of you on the embroidery world. So what is going to work for me and my particular business? So don't pigeonhole yourself. Let's put that. Don't pigeonhole yourself into like what Sheila just said, one thread brand, one, you know, software. I mean, you're going to learn what your brain's going to process, you know, Mm -hmm. however your brain processes, you're going to gravitate, gravitate towards teachers that you click with because Mm -hmm. they speak to your brain a lot easier. There's just some teachers. I can't, I just can't. And, and, and you know what, that's okay. But that same teacher is doing it for somebody else, yep. you know? So that's why some, you might see some classes that are similar here at the AG, but it's because we all have different teaching styles. Exactly. Yep. So there is that. Um, now, Lisa or Jeff, you can jump in at any time. What ladies first. <laughs> You know, he bailed. That's what he just did. You watch that? He just pulled the husband bail card. (laughs) I opened the door. I just, I I don't know. I think all of it is going to be just amazing. It's 10 years. Mm -hmm. I can't see what they've got coming out. Um, I'm really looking forward to just kicking back with Lisa and the rest of the gang on, Mm -hmm. on Saturday night. I don't know why I thought we'd do it Friday nights, but. I, I, no, Friday I night shopping. Heard that Corey works there too, so there will be Corey specials. There's always. Oh yeah, goodie bags, goodie bags. Oh yes, mm-hmm. goodie bags. Coupons, coupons. Oh. Yeah. Yes, that's how samples. We... The samples. Let's talk about the samples. <laughs> I can tell you that for mine and Lisa's class, you, I am coming locked and loaded. So. I'm coming locked and loaded for that class. Um, Jeff and I have a kit for our class where Mm -hmm. um, in that kit for our class, you're going to get the digitized file. You're going to get the sublimation print. You're also going to get a link to more. So you can print off more of those sublimation prints. Um, You're going to get the, the twill that will be used. And I believe there's thread in there too. Um, all everything will be in this kit so you can go home and make your freestanding lace snowflake ornament that you'll be able to sublimate people's faces on. So it's a keepsake ornament that you can sublimate on. Um, Come on. It's, it's, I can't wait for it because it's combining both of my passions. So that's what we're going to have in our class. Like I said, for Lisa's, I'm going to have the minky that we're going to talk about how you can sublimate on things to make it in that 11th hour because you forgot to go shopping or order it because that's a problem. At midnight, Um, you're like, I need to make this for 8 a.m. Yes, and it needed to be polka dots with green flowers. And I don't have polka dots with green flowers, but I can make it in Canva or I can make (laughs) it in this design program or, hey, Nikki, I need this. Can you send this over so I can sublimate it on this fabric? Sure, because I need to be able to put it as an applique design in this little one shirt, whatever it may be. See, that's what we're going to be talking about. And that's I'm, why I'm so excited about our Saturday night class is because yeah. it's social learning and it's all tactile. You're going to have your samples. You're going to be doing a live. Now I'm finding out live. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, on you me, see I mean, how easy it is in that 11th hour. Cause I'm going to be talking about that 11th hour. Yeah. How many times do we have that 11th hour request that and you need that product right then and there. And I know a lot of us, I don't care what you say. You can say, I don't work. I'm not your 11th hour girl. Let's be honest. Depending on who it is and they pull out your heartstrings, you're like, well, okay, I guess I can. <laughs> you know, come on. We've all done it. You've all been there. I don't care how much of a hard butt you think you are. Mm. We've all been there. We've all been there. Mm. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about sublimating on the thread itself. Mm. Um, 
and how you can just, it just opens up a whole new world of, of things um, that you can do. So I'm looking forward to that class. It's very, it's going to be laid back. Lots of laughs. Make sure you bring your adult beverage with you um, or grab adult beverage. I don't know which it is. Um, lots of laughs. Absolutely lots of laughs. And we're not sitting. I don't believe we're sitting in front of the classroom and we walk around. Um, so don't, don't be uh, surprised if I tag you for a question. <laughs> so, um, oh God, I love this. Um, and <laughs> welcome to my world. Yes. Yes, you can sublimate on thread. Um, and I'm going to see if I have it right. Oh, I was gonna look say, it. in hands reach. We have example. This is a sublimated patch. So it is a fully stitched sublimated patch, by the way. So this is all backstitched with white. And then it has this black border. And then I sublimated their design that needed to go on it. Because I couldn't do all that intricate stuff. It just wasn't going to happen. And it's going to be hard to see it in the, the, you could see it when he catches it in the light. But that's it right there. I was now able to take their logo and put it in patch form without going to the wanty expense of trying to have Jeff do it. Sorry, Jeff. But he's going to yell at me. Okay, that's more expensive. Okay. He's worth every penny I pay him. He absolutely is. But when I send him over designs to be digitized, he yells at me first. No, I'm kidding. No, um, I don't. But second. I mean, but there are things, like, you know that. There are things in embroidery that you can't do. There are just things you can't do. Like, there's little that blending. <laughs> yes, blending. Little fine details. You just mm -hmm. can't do it. So Jeff's like, so Nick, why don't you just sub it? Let's make the patch outline. Let's do this and then just sub it. Okay, let's do it, you know? So it helps with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you pay for digitizing fees, absolutely worth our weight in gold. But there's just certain things that even your digitizer will look at you and go, this is not a hold my beer moment. We cannot do this. <laughs> okay? It's just, it is what it is. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Poor Amber is having, she's like, yeah. <laughs> heart attack over there. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Actually, I do have a YouTube channel. I am all over the interwebs for the Sassy Subber, um, actually. And so you can follow um, me at the Sassy Subber. I, like I said, my group is a melting pot um, over there. And I have actually all three of them in my group. Uh, and so they're experts in their field. And I look to them for all of that type of stuff. And they look to me for sublimation stuff. So that's how that works. Um, so is there any last minute thoughts you guys want to do? Want to wrap this up? Any, and as I look at the comment section, is there anything that you want to add about the AG and the experience that they need to have besides the classes? Oh, we like beginners. Oh, I love beginners. <laughs> we, we can mold you just the way we want you. <laughs> <laughs> we have candy. <laughs> we have milk and cookies on the dark side. We That's do. totally not balloons in the storm drain. We got this. <laughs> We love newbies. All of us yeah. do because we've all been there. And right. we don't sit on pedestals. Although, I mean, Sheila and I go like this to Lisa all the time. You know, yeah. I'm gonna, we bow down. Um, I just don't know if I could get up anymore. Bad knees and all. Um, but we absolutely do. I mean, and, and she'll tell you, though, she started at the, you know, at the bottom. She sits in the trenches with us. Mm. You know, she, she doesn't sit on a pedestal up on high thinking she's better than everybody else. None of us are that way. No. None of us portray ourselves to be that way either. We, I still feel awkward when people walk up to me and they know my name. Yeah. Yeah. So like, hey, Jeff. I'm like, hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Although I love it on the airplane when I'm heading to AG and there's people coming down the aisle and I wear my embroidery and they're like, Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yep. I, still, I still feel like a newbie sometimes, but I remember that for a first, the first applique getaway I went to. And I think I just like my group was like six months old, maybe. And a lady stood beside me in line. We were in a line checking in and she whispered to me, she, Oh no, 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 no. It was in a class. And she sat down. She's still like one of my favorite people. And I, every time I see her at Applegate Getaway, I just, I'm like, I just love you. You were so sweet to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was like, I know who you are. And I'm like, how do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm like, Oh, you're in my group. You're one of those. And I had like 50 people in there, you know, but <laughs> I see that the reason that we come is because we like you. We like, <laughs> we, we, if we didn't like to be around people, we wouldn't be there. And right. like, I'm, I'm like an introvert. And so 
at the end of the day, I got to go, you know, get in my cocoon and hunt <laughs> down. But I, I don't know what chicken noodle soup she was just trying to feed you. <laughs> she is so not an introvert. I don't know what during the day when the sun is out, I'm happy to be around people. And and so that's why I come because I like to be around people and I like to meet you and 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 if there's anything I can do to help, you know, come to ask me or ask all of us. That's what like I said earlier. Don't we don't gatekeep. You yeah, know and and if you ask us if you're standing in front of me, Nikki, where do I get X, Y, and Z? Or how do I do X, Y, and Z? If I have the availability to show you right then and there, I will show you right then and there. If not, I'll say, here's the YouTube, here's this, here's the, you know, I give you, I give you the handbook, mm -hmm. if you will, um, because you can go find it on the internet. I'm just going to help you quicker with your search. And yes, I'm going to direct you back to the people that I trust. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Um, I don't know. It's just... I cannot believe you said you were an introvert. She is so not. It's like saying Lisa's shy. Now, I will tell you that everyone thought I was uh, a transfer student in third grade, even though I've been with them since kindergarten. I didn't say boo to a goose. I was the shyest, quietest person until I graduated high school. <laughs> And then oh, it all happened. Yeah. See, it's all, see, and you didn't want to talk about high school. Um, <laughs> no, I do. I, I love every second of it. I love that I get to hang out with the three of you. And the countdown has begun to AG. If you haven't signed up for your classes, take the time. Do yourself yeah. a solid and sign up for those pro classes. Sign up for the VIP classes because yep. they're a wealth of knowledge. They allow us as educators to not have to jam pack everything into an hour, mm -hmm. especially if they're on topics that we're uber passionate about and that mm -hmm. we know takes longer than an hour, right? We selected these classes to be longer classes because they were important classes mm -hmm. and they allowed us just to kind of sit back and really enjoy the learning process. And that's what those, those classes are. For the two and a half hour, two to two and a half hour classes and the hour and a half classes, they're meant for you to be a sponge. So come being a sponge. I also want you to come with no expectations. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to come with no expectations of what you think AG should be or what you thought AG should be. I want you to come in with a clear mind. I want you to come in saying, you know what? I'm here to learn. I'm here to grab just one new thing, one new item and meet one new person. Make those your expectations because you'll have a much more enjoyable time when you just let the learning process happen. Mm -hmm. You're going to learn on the vendor floor. You're going to learn in classes. You're going to learn while we're kicking back at dinner because mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to talk about embroidery and sublimation <sighs> and hats. <laughs> all the work. Right. And even at breakfast, I mean, we've had people, I believe, down eating breakfast. And I was actually eating breakfast last year with the nerds. And we're all of a sudden these people are coming towards us and we're literally eating breakfast and we're just saying, oh yeah, sure. Not a problem. We stopped what we're doing to ask you a question because we know that your time with us, that one-on-one -on -one right in front of us mm -hmm. is very small. Mm -hmm. So we don't get upset when you come and approach us. Um, just know that if I know you, I'm hugging your face. That's all there is to it. Okay, I've, already warned, I've already warned the three of them. I'm hugging their face. So I'm a hugger. If you're not a hugger, you might want to say, Nikki, I'm not a hugger on your shirt. That might need to be the important thing. Um, so do I make that large print? Nikki, I'm not a hugger. <laughs> you don't get a choice, sir. Um, I deal with your shenanigans and day in and day out. So come with that. Mm -hmm. Come take their classes. Find out what works for you. Sign up for your VIP pro classes and pro classes. And don't forget... Don't, you know, don't be sitting on the rest of the classes either. Those Saturday and Sunday classes are packed full of information. There's a ton of classes. I wish maybe I'll take a class on Sunday because you know what? As an educator, we don't get to take classes. We're too busy being with you guys that I might sneak into their classes. I think that's what I may do so that I can get a little nugget of information so that I too get my, my cup filled. So, um, any last minute thoughts? I want to thank everybody who is watching us from Lisa, Sheila, and Jeff's platforms. Thank you so much. If you guys don't know who I am, you're going to see a lot of me on all of their platforms. You'll also see a part me, a, a part of AG, along with the three of them. We are the finest humans on earth, I believe. Um, so there is that. What is, oh, yes, Christine, that is true. 
Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Weirdest moment, I will tell you, is somebody wanted my autograph. That's Look not very nice to say about me. It wasn't you. They actually said, Nikki, can I have your autograph? It was such a surreal moment that I didn't know what to do. And I'm like, what? <laughs> because I'm just me, right? So I had to tell you that that was, that was a surreal moment for me. So thank you so much to Lisa Shaw and to mm-hmm. Sheila Ryan and to Jeff Fuller for coming along for the ride. I hope you see us on our vendor voices. Have you guys done your vendor voices yet? No. When is yours, Sheila? Uh, next week. Next week. Okay, I know mine and Jeff is on Monday. And then, Lisa, you did yours last week, didn't you? I did mine last week, but I do another one later on. I like to banter with Christine. She's just so much fun to talk about. Maybe you and I should get on one. <laughs> we, you and I could do one with her. I'm, I'm always down. So join, if not one of us, join all four of us at the AG for their 10th anniversary of all things applique getaway coming July 13th. 13th. All right. Okay. I just want to make sure I too many dates in my head. It starts July 13th with our pro classes goes all the way to July 16th and you know, lots of fun and everything else. So thanks so much to everybody. You any final thoughts before I clog off? Can't wait to see y'all. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Thanks so much. And uh, we'll see you guys, you know, where on the flip side. <laughs>